Welcome to another episode of Thunder Insider. I'm your host, Chris Fisher. On today's show, Jalen Williams tours Tinker Air Force Base just before Veterans Day. My dad did 24 years, my mom did 12. She got out when she had me. Yeah, so both of them served in the Air Force, um, so it's cool to, like I said, be out here on another Air Force base. The City Edition jerseys dropped, and we have the players' reaction to their new unis. They were great, man. We looked good on it, in it. But it was nice, yeah. November is Native American Heritage Month, and to celebrate, Lindy Waters took a cross-country team to the new First Americans Museum in OKC. Let's start the show with our newest edition of our Onward series. Chemistry's getting better. Um, and I think individual guys got better, skill-wise, talent-wise. Um, and I can say that across the board. I think we're a better team because of it. Um, I'm excited for, for what's to come. Sensing the same stuff as probably every other team. It's exciting. Guys haven't played in a while. Everybody, you know, is optimistic going into the season. And uh, we're no different. The one risk in the first part of the season, especially this early, is that the excitement kind of takes precedent over that stuff. And we've got to, you know, be excited and channel that into hard play and intensity. But we've also got to get down to business. It was scrappy. I mean, you know, and that's the way we're going to have to win games. You know, the little things, uh, loose balls, charges, um, little things like that are going to give us an edge um, over our opponents. So. I think scrappy games should suit our guys. You know, we're young guys. We should love those type of environments. And I think um, the more we can you know, relish those moments, um, it's going to help us going forward because, you know, you see it around the league, vets don't want to dive on the floor and do all these little things. And, and us young guys should want to do that. And um, as a young team, that should give us an advantage. The Thunder got back to work here in the Ion before the second game of the season at Denver against the Nuggets. One thing that we discussed here with Mark Dagnall and a couple of the players was just how the speed and the quickness of the Thunder can match up against uh, a bigger team like they saw in Minnesota and like this Denver squad coming up. So cool. I mean, the, the, the whole state is excited about uh, both Jalen and Isaiah being with the Thunder and obviously uh, Jalen getting drafted and being so close to uh, you know, not just University of Arkansas, but Fort Smith. And I mean, what a what a just incredible story. Uh, two players that played at the same college, same high school. I mean, it's insane. Um, but everybody's excited for them. And they're such, I mean, not only great players, but just as importantly, great people. <laughs> Crowd still on its feet. It is opening night here inside Ball Arena. These fans anxiously awaiting it's his way to the rim. No good. Here comes Shea. Going to try to get out and run. Pushes it ahead. Robinson Earl with the power punch in transition. You know, we, we lose, you know, this game into Minnesota, but the strides we've taken from last year. I mean, and to come in tonight and compete with, you know, two contenders, um, you know, shows what we've what we've done over the last 12 months. And, um, you know, I'm proud of the guys. The way we fought, um, you know, against the experienced team um, like Denver um, and, and kept it, you know, right to the wire all through the last quarter, last second half. So, um, you know, we competed, played hard, but, um, you know, I don't even think we're scratching the surface of, of how good we can be. Um, we've still got so much room to grow, but um, to see the progress we've made the last 12 months, um, it's really exciting for what we can do. Thunder Nation, how we doing tonight? How we doing? That's what I like to hear. I just want to say, on behalf of myself, my teammates, the whole organization, we're excited for the season. We're happy to have you guys, see you guys. Let's keep this environment safe. Let's keep it lit. Here we go. Thunder up. We love OKC and, and the fans. They're, they're great. And they, and they just show a lot of love to us. So it, it was a lot of fun being out here for the home opener and just, and just and seeing the fans out here tonight. We did a good job of getting ourselves back into striking distance in the game after the first quarter. I mean, it's hard to go down 18 that early in the game, and we got it into a manageable place, like you said. So um, that was positive, but... You know, obviously, when you when you smell blood there, you got to keep going, and they credit them. You know, they bounced back and went and got the game. The ball came, like, in my area, and I grabbed it out of, uh, 
little canard's hand and then I threw it out. I fell, got my hand in some some type of drink. But uh, Shea found me in the corner <laughs> and I just knocked down the three for him. You can't coach that. You just saw it, folks. You just got to do it. Great ball movement, great pace. They won't play unselfishly, but no matter who it is, those possessions always feel good. Um, they go in sometimes, they don't, but that's how we want to play most possessions. Stops, you know, get out and run, play with great flow. Thought the ball really moved. Um, five guys working to get a good shot, uh, but the defense was definitely um, what the catalyst was there, I think. Yeah, it feels good. Um, getting stops is, is the comfort of it all, though. We get stops, we're able to run, um, and we're the best versions of ourselves. We're gonna look, we're gonna watch film tomorrow, figure it out, um, and try to be better. That's a good team over there, and we, we can't think that they're gonna relax. Well, hey, enjoy this one. Good job getting this one here at Pay Cup. Appreciate it. Thanks, nice check. I feel like we had to be tougher. Um, and had a different, I mean, kind of have the same approach that we had last game. And, you know, they added another guy that was here last time. But, uh, I mean, I just feel like we did a good job just playing hard, moving ball, and competing. I thought we played the right way tonight for the most part. Um, we did the things that, that got us a W in the first game. We played hard, played together, defended, um, tried to get on transition. Uh, I think we had some good carryover, and it resulted in W. game road trip down here to Dallas to close out the month of October for the Thunder. A really great opportunity for the Thunder to try to build on the success that it had responding to its own success in that mini series against the Clippers. The Thunder was really able to kind of build on those habits and take the lessons from game one into game two. I think the whole group for I think a year and a little bit now, um, we've been in situations, we spend all the time together. Um, trust each other, love each other, um, and I think we just want to win at the end of the day. Um, and I think that's the result of why we're getting Ws. We just want to win, um, we trust each other, and we're all willing to do whatever it takes. Every player that we have, it just has heart. Um, as you can see in that game, we fight. No matter how many points we're down, we're just going to continue to fight and continue to play hard because at the end of the day, the little things add up, and it showed tonight. Yeah, it's just all about being ready, man. And my teammates trust me whenever I get in the game. Uh, they, they find me and we take good shots the whole time. But, you know, I just want to give a credit to this team for not laying down. You know, even when we were down in the fourth quarter, we kept fighting back.